Hello my beautiful friends. I'm coming in today. Um, Zen Maiden here. Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. I have my shades on today. So um, I'll put them up here. Just coming in to give you guys an update. Um, I had my sleep study last night and it was um, wild actually. I didn't sleep very well. I had all this stuff hooked up to me. I'm going to show you a picture. And I know many of you have probably already had a sleep study. So I'm not going to belabor um, all what it's all about. But they're trying to find uh, if I have a sleep disorder bottom line. And so let me find some pictures. Hang on a second. There's two pictures of me here. Here I am hooked up to the stuff. They put this. Can you imagine? But um, yeah, they hook your. <laughs> they hook your all up to the stuff. And here's my other picture. Hopefully, we'll get another text. Anyway. So it's gunk in your hair and these electrodes and stuff and a big cage uh, thing of wires that comes up. They braid it and put it to your back and you have them on your leg and chest and everywhere. So yeah, so then I tried to go to sleep. I think I did sleep for a little while, but I woke up a number of times and changed sides and got tried to get comfortable and, you know, move around and blah, blah, blah. So um, at the questionnaire at the end, it says, how many times did you, um, do you think that you, how, how much time do you think you slept? And. I think I put two and a half, three hours, and then it says, how much do you normally sleep? And I says, uh, four and a half, four hours, five maybe. And then um, it asked, you know, what kind of sleep was it? Did you dream? Blah, blah, blah. Well, I didn't have any dreams, nothing I can remember. And I just know that I woke up a hell of a lot of times, and it was just weird. I do wake up a lot myself here at my home, sleeping too. <clears throat> but usually I just I change sides or whatever and fall back asleep. So maybe it's just something going on with my body that's waking me up, and um, I'm kind of like to find out what that is. And she also says, oh, if you're having trouble breathing, then we're going to wake you up and put a mask on you. Well, luckily that never happened because I said to her, are you serious? You're going to wake me up from a sleep and put a mask on me if, if I need one? I don't think so. So anyway, luckily she didn't disturb my, my little sleep that I did get. So meanwhile, guys, it's um, just a quick update here from me. Um, we two on my um, bioidentical hormones. I did get them. They are, I'll just cover my name. This is um, the container they come in. It looks like certain makeup. Um, and uh, you just put one pump on you. I told you guys that before, but I didn't have it to show you. So there it is. Um, so I've been taking that and my thyroid for one week. So I'm feeling pretty good. I'm, I'm noticing that I'm feeling like a little more energy, I think, in general. Um, I'm sure I'll notice more benefits as time goes on. But meanwhile, um, I'm excited that I have this stuff, that I'm trying it, and then hoping, hopefully that will regulate my body, like I said before. So um, there's been a lot of interesting things going on here in the community. Um, I'm really finding interesting. And one video um, I saw for I left I thought was really interesting um, called, um, once you, you know, something like once you're um, done with your weight loss, do you still feel fat? And that was a really interesting one to me because I think that it's pretty universal that most of us, unless they get super, super skinny, even if they do get skinny, they still feel fat. And I know that I still feel fat sometimes. And, and you know, I think it's normal. I really do. I think that we've been conditioned for so long to be fat. Excuse the word, the F word. But... Yeah, we've lived in fat bodies a long time, and it takes a while, I think, to come back and say, you know, well, you're really not as big as you think you are, and, you know, you're the only one who's noticing it. You're the only one who's so hard on yourself, but I think everyone um, that's had a lot of weight loss is hard on themselves, you know, at least initially until they repair their body with plastics or whatever they're going to do, or come to terms with it, whichever it is, but it is kind of ironic um, that we would feel that way after all this, but you know what I have to say for me, um, even if I have a feeling fat moment or moments, days, weeks, whatever they are, I still know that I'm way better off. I'm not feeling the same way I did when I was morbidly obese. Um, I don't, I don't feel that way at all. And you know, we're in the dang overweight category, over obese category, but, you know, at least we've come down from where we were and we're doing a lot better. So that's that's super important. And just knowing that, you know, that our goal, whatever that number or that place is for us, is really predetermined by our genetics and our body. 
and a whole lot of other things that go along with it. It isn't just follow the plan and do the exercise and you got this. For a lot of people it might be, but for a lot of others it isn't quite that simple. So, meanwhile, um, no bitching and moaning here about that. I'm just saying that I am continuing on, pushing forward, guys, continuing to push forward. And just do what I have to do on an everyday basis to know that I'm doing the right thing. Like here, I got my protein shake. I still drink protein shake at 40 months out. I drink them in the morning a lot when I'm not really hungry. Um, if, I, if I'm like sort of hungry, I'll have some eggs and spinach or something like that. So, um, you know, my basics consist of, you know, protein shake, um, eggs, vegetables, turkey, chicken, fish, shrimp, things like that, um, vegetable burgers that I make, or meatballs, um, and then lots of chopped veggies, chopped salads, add-ins, I love my condiments, I love my pepita seeds, chia, flax, all those things are great, you know, green onions, peppers, real, real colorful stuff. It makes me feel happy because I got to eat it on a little plate. It makes me feel happy. It makes me feel like I'm filling up that whole little plate. And it's all a mind trip. And I'm so used to it now that it, there's nothing that, um, you know, really surprises me. And, of course, you know, at 40 months out and even way before that, you can eat pretty much anything with VSG um, that your body will tolerate. And, you know... Some things are harder to digest, some things cause bloating, some things cause gas, some things cause nausea, you know, or some people get like light dumping episodes. And I know that I've experienced, um, you know, the um, overdose of sugar, you know, with a, like a piece of cheesecake. I had, ate half of it and thought I was going to die. But I didn't have like a full on dumping episode. It was just like nausea and oh, like I should have done that. So. You know, lessons learned, guys. That's all this is about is lessons learned. And at the end of the day, in five years from now and or ten years from now, how are we doing? I mean, that is really going to be the true test of time. It isn't how long did it take me to get to my goal? Did I get to my goal? It's really about um, what is your quality of life ten years from now, fifteen years from now? And nobody is looking at your scale but you. And it's how you feel in your clothes, how you choose to dress yourself feel express yourself feel happy all that stuff is super important it's where is our mind you know where is our mind at and getting a grip on the new reality and taking charge and re ridding of life of negativity is super important um i can't stress that enough guys is to try to eliminate as much stress as possible from your lives and added stress like you know for instance a bad work situation or bad relationships, uh, toxic people, things like that. It's very, very important to rid your life of those and, and find your freedom and just make your choices wisely and um, establish new friendships and, you know, work with your old ones. Do what you have to do to come to a whole new place. And even though we're not the same people we were when we started out, and I truly believe that we are not the same, there's very little about me that's the same other than my inner core is the same. But everything else pretty much has changed. And for the better, I think. And we just got to keep stepping forward and keep our workouts going, keep our food going the right way, watching ourselves. Um, sometimes I think tracking is very helpful uh, as we continue here in, in the saga of the continuum of after the first 18 months. I do think that it is important to track, um, especially if you're experiencing a gain. If you're just able to maintain without doing anything, then um, more power to you. But anyway, guys, those are just a few of my tips and thoughts for today. Um, a quick update on me. Not so quick. Have a great day, and I love you all. Bye.